Hey, what's going on today, guys? Today I just finished building a friend a new PC right here. It's an excellent case design. It has two fans in the front, two on top, and one in the back. However, the motherboard doesn't have enough headers to support each of the fans, and as a result, we had to use a fan splitter to have each of them uh, running in the case. And the downside in that is that they all run at a fixed speed now. That's that's obviously not what we want because that it's on idle right now and we're listening to the fans and they're going at full blast, which is pretty inconvenient. What we're hoping to do is to have all these case fans modulated uh, despite not having enough headers on the PC. So our plan to make these fans modulated is to first remove the fan controller which is currently in the system. This thing unfortunately, as mentioned, it, it only allows the fans to spin at their max fixed speed. And we're going to take this out and replace it with these one to two fan splitters. Uh, this will allow the motherboard, despite its lack of a number of headers, to now have enough to support all the case fans. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah, we're going to get started now. Alright guys, so I just finished removing the fan control in the system. It's right here. It was a bit of work to get it out, but I managed to get it, to get it through and uh, get the splitters and connect it to the motherboard now. So yeah, I'll just show around the front where they're connected. So I have two fan splitters now connected to the bottom, chassis number two and number three. And then chassis number one is connected right here in the middle next to the CPU cooler. All right, so just to recap, I have chassis number three in the motherboard connected to the rear fan right here. And then the top two are, are configured to chassis number two. And then in the front, I have chassis number one connected to these fans right here using the two-way splitter. So the next step is to open up the BIOS and to see if we can actually control the speeds of these fans. Let's give it a shot. So now I'm in the BIOS and I'm about to control chassis fan number one. This of course is going to be to the two front fans. So right now it's set at standard. I'm just going to put it to manual. And yeah, now, now once it gets to, uh, as you can see here, 60 degrees, it's going to get, get to 60% uh, power to the fans. But as you can see, all before that, it's um, when it goes from zero to sixty, the fans are gonna, the two front fans are gonna remain at zero RPM, and then when it hits seventy degrees, that's when it's gonna start going from uh, sixty percent power all the way up to hundred percent power, and it's gonna go to hundred percent once the uh, CPU gets to seventy-five degrees Celsius. Now I'm just gonna move on to chassis fan number two. And it's going to be set, set at the same thing, just going to move it from uh, standard to manual mode. Again, uh, 0 RPM once it gets up to s s uh, 60 degrees Celsius. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to now adjust it for number 3 of chassis fan. Again, from standard to manual. And yeah, so now that's at 0 RPM all the way up to s 60 degrees Celsius as well. As you can hear in the background too, it got a bit quieter too, just since of course the CPU on idle right now. So now the case fans are at 0 RPM as a result. So I'm just going to exit out of this. I'm going to save the settings, so just F10. Okay, let's fire it up. Alright guys, so I've just booted up in Windows 10. And as you can see on the on the sensor there, the CPU is at around 45 degrees Celsius. I'm just gonna show you right now that the in fact the fans are not the case fans aren't spinning at all. Here's the one in the rear and it's at zero RPM. Just gonna show that at the top you don't see the LEDs on, so these ones are off. And then the, in the front, you can see those those fans aren't spinning either. Yeah, so now I'm gonna run the sort of bench benchmark right here. So let's click run. And yeah, as you can see, the temperature of the CPU is, is going uh, well over 60 degrees Celsius. It's going to go into the high 70s. Just going to monitor right now the, the fans. Yeah, they just clicked on. And yeah, they're right there. The rear is running at 100%. Uh, CPU on the reading is uh, 78 degrees Celsius right now. It's going to show in the, in the front too. Yep, these fans are both running. And yeah, the, to the top as well. The LED fan, the LED of the two top fans are on. Let's let that run its course. Yeah, so the Cinebench just finished. Uh, the Ryzen 3900X got a score of 7,025, pretty good. 
Anyway, uh, it's good. yeah, but now the now since it's starting to cool off with the air cooler, it's going below 60 degrees Celsius. Let's just take a look at the case again. Again, the, the top fans aren't spinning because the LED rings are off. Now the, the rear fan's not on. It's at zero RPM. Now as you can see in the front, the two, two front fans aren't spinning either, which is exactly what we want. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're really happy with how this turned out. Uh, before, with this uh, fan controller right here in the system, it, the fans are always running at 100%. Yeah, this, this will be super beneficial for whenever the PC is left on idle now. So now it won't be an annoyance hearing those fans at full blast, and instead they're going to be at zero RPM. I had a lot of fun making this video and doing the modification on this PC. It was a good learning experience, and I do welcome any comments to show how I could make this PC even better. Anyway, I wish you all the best luck in your future PC building. Goodbye now.